Good morning. I just wanted to briefly, I'm going to try to make a brief uh, reply to that. To any of you that are considering seeing a doctor or are seeing a doctor, I would suggest that one, please do your homework on any medication that you may be prescribed. Um, especially if it's an antipsychotic. Why am I talking about antipsychotics? One word caught my attention in this last video. Vegetable is the word when you, you become like a vegetable. And uh, for a brief period, I was on Seroquel. This doctor didn't realize that Seroquel was related and linked to... Um, raised triglyceride levels, which I had slightly raised triglyceride levels, slightly, he, you know, my, he was an Asian guy at the Bruce Reed Medical Clinic in Paris, it's part of the Riverside County Regional Medical uh, Center, you know, and he, and uh, he's, he'd always say, you need to get off fried food, fried food, you need to get off fried food, I'm thinking, what are you doing, what are you talking about, I'm not eating fried food, and, um, you know, I remember um, telling this doctor that I had uh, one episode of uh, what the, uh, uh, what was it called? Reckless driving, you know, and I'm thinking, this doctor cannot base one episode of reckless driving and he cannot label me as bipolar. And um, I took, a, you know, I think I was on it three weeks. I took uh, for first maybe four or five days 25 milligrams and then I bumped it up he said start slowly I bumped it up to 50 the next four or five days and then uh, I noticed you know a significant change in me I was slower I couldn't think um, you know I told my doctor he did not listen he did not listen and guys if you have a doctor that does not listen do not keep him change him that's the worst thing you can have as a doctor that does not listen. Um, he didn't understand that I was a student. I told him, but he didn't listen. He didn't get it that I had to critically think. He didn't get it that I had to write papers. He didn't get it that I was in algebra, and I really had to think hard about this because algebra was just hard for me. He did not get it. He was just in his doctor little world, in his doctor little textbook, and that's all he did, was he didn't connect at all. He didn't care about the patient, you know, and I noticed within probably four or five days of taking this, this Seroquel, which is an antipsychotic, that I was a vegetable. I didn't want to get up. Uh, you know, I got out of bed, but I didn't want to do anything. I, I, did, I didn't want to walk around the house. I didn't want to go to the store. I didn't want to go to class. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to walk the dog. I had no desire to do anything. I wanted to lay on the couch or whatever and go to sleep. That's all I wanted to do was sleep. I was working at the time, and I told my boss, I'm on some medication, and it's really, really making me sluggish. And I can't do anything. I told her, and she understood, because at the time I think I was had to get to work at 6 a.m. certain days, and I was fine with that. But I wasn't fine with it when I was on the medication because the medication was fucking up my life. And um, you know, and she said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried that one time because I guess her husband was on it, and she said it knocked her out flat on her feet for." A day or something like that and she goes she goes I understand now you know and I told my doctor after three weeks I'm not taking anymore I am NOT taking this medication anymore I can't think I can't write my papers I don't want to read I don't want to do algebra I don't want to do anything I don't want to do anything I don't want to I didn't fuck driving are you kidding me I didn't want to drive not only did I not only want to drive because I just didn't have the energy I didn't want to drive because I knew that I could put someone else's life in danger. Because I couldn't critically think. And anybody that drives know you have to critically think in order to drive. You have to. If you're not thinking out there, you're just going to hit people and just, you know, whatever. And so I was, 
I told him, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm not going to take this. I don't care if you are the doctor. I am not going to take this drug anymore. And um, my triglyceride levels were slightly elevated. He acted like they were 800, you know, off the chart. And he didn't get it. He didn't know. He didn't do his homework to say, oh, uh, Seroquel is linked to high triglycerides, and it's linked to diabetes. He didn't get it. And I was um, I was on Zoloft since 2003. Um, it's fine. And I've been on Wellbutrin since early 2008. That's fine. Um, so any medication that you're on, antipsychotic, well, actually, I would consider most people don't take it. Do not take any antipsychotic. There may be a few people out there that can handle it, but for the most part, I would say do not take an, do not take antipsychotics unless you want to be a vegetable and just sit there. I mean, if you have so much energy that you're always on the go, all the time, every day, every day, every day, you're always on the go. Maybe you can take a low dose, but I would consider, you know, try something else before you go to an antipsychotic. And um, you know, um, it just this doctor didn't get it. He did not listen to me. He did not listen to my symptoms. Black and white thinking is not bipolar. Black and white thinking is autism. It, my mind is usually, you know, it's either you are or you're not. It's not a little bit. It's are, it's you, you are this or you're not this. Or you're, um, it's either yes or no. You're either going to call me today or you're not going to call me today. You're either going to pick me up today for whatever or you're not going to pick me up today. There's no maybe about it. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. And, and there's many other things that I think in black and white. Uh, literal thinking is not bipolar bipolarity. Literal thinking is autism. Somebody says, oh, I put the car and uh, it needs a monitor or whatever. You know, I think of a computer monitor. I see a computer monitor in my head. People, people say, scare, uh, what is it called? Uh, when you debate, um, straw man argument means nothing to me. When star, straw man, okay, I'll think of the Wizard of Oz and the Scarecrow. I think in literal terms. And this doctor did not get it. You know, so please, guys, tr make sure you research your medication, any of it, before you get on it. And before you start taking it, research it. And then once you research it, you know, and and say, oh, this is linked to blah, 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 go back to your doctor and say, I ain't taking it. I ain't taking it. If it's linked to something like diabetes, you think you want to take it? Huh. If something is linked to, um, if something is linked to, um, high blood pressure, do you want to take it? Do you really want to take that if it's linked to high blood pressure? And it's been studied in case studies where 80% of the people get high blood pressure? <laughs> I guess that's up to you, but I wouldn't want to take it. Um, so be very careful with your doctors. Hopefully you don't go to a teaching place like me where th these doctors are just textbook happy, and they're all too happy to go to their textbook instead of really listening to the patient. Um, and that's about it. All right. Bye.